Hi Hacksters! Very exciting unboxing today. We're gonna open up this open smartwatch. I've uh, opened up the box but not taken anything out yet. It's the open smartwatch by Paul's 3D Things and it's been sent to us by MakerFab. Let's take a look. Oh look at this! I didn't even get through my spiel. Oh it's got a very nice packaging system. This black box is so pretty. Oh! I didn't know what color to expect, but it's gorgeous. It's kind of like a ghost watch. Oh, it's on a little velvet pillow. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a great gift this would make for someone in your life who is a techie. I actually love how there's these exposed hex screws. They're so gorgeous. Wow. This thing has its own custom OS, a 3D printed enclosure, a LiPo battery, and a strap. I wasn't sure this thing would be assembled. This 3D printing is really nice. In fact, it looks like it's been done on a 45 degree angle. And I kind of wonder if it was made on that Creality printer that they collaborated on with Naomi Wu. There's actually another thing in here from Maker Fabs as well, but we'll look at that later. Let's focus on this beauty and we're gonna get a close up look. So opening this up, we find that the top comes off without a lot of fuss, revealing a spot for the battery underneath. The bezel comes off as well, and we see the edges of this beautiful round TFD screen. We can find the specs for that on the Open Smartwatch Docs site, which we'll look at in a second. Design in KiCad! We love to see it! And there's the Pulse 3D Things logo as well, and the github.io docs page. Pushing up from below, we can remove the whole PCB and the LiPo which fits through this slot in the enclosure. Flipping it over, we find the TTGO module here, labeled T-Micro32, plus open hardware! Love it. The four little right angle buttons, labeled 1, 2, 3, and R, our battery connections, and the charging light. So, on the MakerFab site, this watch is listed for $36.90, which I think is kind of incredible. I mean, in this Reddit post, Paul mentioned that he doesn't think that he's going to necessarily ever be able to make this consumer friendly but maybe as a community this is possible. With the price point set so low, I think that's very achievable. I mean, just look at this gorgeous screen that you get, plus all these other cool builds in different colors. I'd be interested to see if someone can make it more waterproof, for example with little gaskets made of rubber or even 3D printed out of flex material. We've got more specs here, including 320 kilobytes of RAM, Bluetooth 4.2, BLE, Wi-Fi, your 240 by 240 pixel TFT display, an accelerometer and pedometer, and the LiPo charger. I also feel like I could fit in a haptic motor somehow if I print a custom version of this case. There's also a bunch of useful links down here. First steps with the PCB, assembling the watch, the project page, the community, and a Discord, and then more updates from the developer, which is the Paul's 3D Things Instagram, where we find out that Paul also wrote a novel. On the docs page, there's a ton of extra information. There's a light edition, a GPS edition, apps for watch faces, tools and games, 3D printable design files, the open smartwatch OS on GitHub, and more. This platform has a ton to explore and I fully intend to exploit it. Thank you so much MakerFab for sending us one of these beautiful things. Thanks to Paul for creating another really cool wearable tech platform. And to you for watching. Hack on.